Queen Tribe, this cool Gerard here, back with another podcast. Listen, y'all, queens hang with queens. Queens hang with queens. Queen, let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all, some of y'all got got to get some new friends. And I'm going to explain to you why and what I'm talking about. Sometimes you outgrow your friends. I don't care if they're your childhood friend. I don't care if y'all went to school together. Sometimes you outgrow your friend. And the reason why some of y'all, not all y'all, this may not apply to everybody. But the reason why some of y'all are making bad choices and making bad relationship choices because... You you trying to be friends with loose booty. You can't hang around if you're a queen. You can't hang around low value women. If you're a queen, you can't hang around loose booty nine on one. Because sometimes they they mess gonna rub off on you. And the reason why I'm doing this, this podcast, the reason why I'm going to get on here and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm talking loud because I'm pissed. And you know why I'm pissed? Because a queen got raped. Listening to her loose bully, low value friend, her friend giving her bad advice. And this is why I tell y'all, y'all go to these women for a relationship with vice. And then they tell y'all do something stupid. Yeah, I said it. Do something stupid. What I mean by doing something stupid? Doing something that don't make sense. Going against your intelligence. Making a stupid decision. Some of y'all friends tell y'all, girl, you need to lower your standards, girl. You ain't going to get no man like that. Those type of women, do not hang around them. Hang around women who are on the same level as you or higher than you that they, that they can get you to the next level. Iron, shop is iron. Iron, shop is iron. If you are a girlfriend woman, and if you are doing assonance, hang around other girlfriend women who are practicing assonance. Don't hang around loose booty women. Because they're going to tell y'all to do stupid stuff. This girl going to tell her friend to go over to a man's house, and the woman don't even know the man. She don't even know the man. It ain't been but two or three weeks, and the man invite her over to the uh, house, and she asks her friend opinion, and here come her low value, loose booty friend. Girl, you need to go over to that man's house. Then because you going over there, y'all ain't got to have sex. Just go over there. We ain't gonna get no man like that. Your response should be to them, I'm not trying to get a man. A man's supposed to be trying to get me. That's your problem. You trying to get a man. Stop trying to get a man and let the man get you. He who finds their wife finds a good thing. The man supposed to be trying to get you. He supposed to be trying to find you. You don't lower your standards and go against your boundaries just to get a man and because your friend telling you to, to, to let that go to the man's house. So the girl, so the woman goes to the man's house and the man raped her, took it. And that's why I'm on here yelling because I'm pissed off because a queen just got raped. This is why I try to tell y'all, queen, when I'm doing my podcasts and my videos, I'm not on here for entertainment. I'm on here to let y'all know what's going on out here. I'm coaching. I'm in the trenches. A lot of women are getting raped going to these men's houses or the men coming to your house. 
a lot of women are getting raped out here, man. Some men, they're going to invite you to their place. And you're going you gonna to tell them to stop. They're not going to stop. They're going to force themselves on top of you. And they're going to penetrate you. They're not going to stop. And whenever a man force himself on top of you and force himself and penetrate you, that is rape. If you didn't want that, that is rape. Now, the woman who told her to go do that, she got a husband. She in the bed with her husband having sex. But the, uh, the, the woman that went to the man's house, she raped. She violated. She violated. Now, she the one got to walk around with the guilt. Oh, I was so stupid. I can't believe I went over there. Now, she got to walk around with the guilt. With the hurt. Because she was violated. And I'm not a woman. I don't know how I feel to be violated like that right there. But I know it don't feel good. A woman that got respect for herself. I know it don't feel good. The woman been asking this for years. She broke her assonance. Her assonance got broke. Her celibacy got broke. The man took it. He took it. You cannot hang around some type of certain women. You got to hang around women that's better than you or on the same level as you. Y'all got the same morals, the same core values, and the same core beliefs. And this is why I tell y'all, queens, stop getting relationship advice from these women. They don't know men. They don't know men. If if, if this woman would have known my channel, if she would have reached out to me before she went over there, I don't care. If you ain't got if you ain't got money for a session, send me an email. Send me an email. Cause right, I just met the man. He very 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 nice. But it's been three weeks, and he asked me to come over to him, his place. For a date. I asked my friend. She said I should go. Because if I go over there. That don't mean I got to have sex with him. Should I go. What is your opinion Coach Rod? Coach Rod would have told her. Sus. Do not go over there to that man's house. You got to set that as your boundary. Coach Rod. That is my boundary. Because that was her boundary. Her boundary was. She's not going to go to a man's place. When she first meet a man. She went over there. He took it. So I'm telling y'all queens. Reach out to me before you make a decision like that right now. I'm not going to tell y'all nothing wrong. I'm doing this stuff. Every, I'm coaching every day queens. Women out here are getting violated man. This is one thing I see in coaching. Men come in women's life and they very, very, very nice in the beginning. Calling every day. Texting every day. Not even one or two, three, two or three weeks. All of a sudden, now, hey, hey, come to my place for a day. You know, we gonna chill. You know, watch some movies. We ain't gonna do nothing. Then the woman go over there. Boom, she on her back. And then this is what they, I'll tell y'all. This is what a lot of men doing. And then as soon as they get what they want, they gone. They gone. They don't call you no more. They don't text you no more. Once they get what they want, they're going to disregard you like you're a piece of paper on the flow. Queens, listen to your Uncle Rod and your brother Rod. Do not go to, to no man's house if y'all is not exclusive and you don't know this man. You just met this man. This man is a stranger. If that's your boundary, do not go against your boundary for nobody. This is why I tell y'all to hang the phone up on the man. Hang up the phone. Hey, 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 cut my pace Friday night. We, we ain't gonna do nothing. We just gonna, you know, we just gonna chill, watch a little movie. No, um, no, I, I don't, I don't go to men places like that right there. Come on, come on, just come on, let's go. No, I don't do it. That third time, come on up, hang up the phone. God bless you. I don't told you two times already. I'm not going to your place. But my brother, God bless you. Click, hang the phone up. 
And when you do that, guess what gonna happen? He gonna go. He gonna go. He gonna leave you alone. That is, is how you weed out the good from the bad. You got to stand your ground. You got to hang up the phone on these clowns. Hang the phone up. Cut them folks off. When the man just met you, it ain't been but a couple of weeks. If that man asks you where you live and he want to come to your place or he wants you to come to his place, that is a disrespectful man. That is a man asking you to have sex with him. A man don't have to deliberately come out his mouth literally and say, hey, let's have sex. They're not going to do that all the time. They're not going to literally say, hey, let's have sex. But when a man is inviting you to his place, he is asking for sex. And when a man keep on asking you, as you tell him no, he begging for sex. He begging for sex. Cut the man off. He begging for sex. He just want to get on top of you. And then once he get what he want and release off in you, he gone. He not going to talk to you no more. And my queens, my sisters in Christ, Coach Rod, I love y'all. I'm tired of seeing my queens getting disrespected. I'm tired of seeing my queens getting raped. I'm tired of seeing my queens getting violated. I'm sick of it. I'm doing this here to protect y'all, man. I ain't doing this here just for entertainment. I'm not doing here, doing this here just to make money. I make majority of my money on my job. I don't get paid a lot of money for this right here. I'm not on here for that. I'm on here for passion. That's why I'm yelling right now. Because I'm passionate about this thing. And I get pissed off when I see my queens getting raped. Because they are listening to these those loose booty, little stankin' tail girls telling y'all to do something stupid. Go to a man's house and you don't even know the man. You don't even know these men. You don't go to no man's house like that right there. Because some of these men, they're not going to take no for an answer. Some men are here raping women. They are here raping. They're going to get you by yourself and they're going to take it. You got to stand on your boundaries. You got to stand on your boundaries. Do not, do not let a man disrespect your boundaries. Period. If that's your boundary, that you're not going to go to a man's house, no. No, I'm not going. No, I'm not going. Hang up the phone. Because... What I notice about a lot of women, maybe not all women, if you keep on letting this man do, ask you for sex, you're going to go over there. This is why I tell y'all to cut the man off and don't talk to him again. Hang the phone up. That is not your husband. That is not the man that God has for you. That is a distraction straight from the pits of hell. The devil sending these men in your life to ruin your life, to get you on your back and rape you. That's why I say, cut the man off. Hang up the god dog on phone on him. Because he, if the man keep asking for sex, you're going to go over there. If you keep on talking to this man, you're going to go over there. Because you're a woman. And y'all going to start talking to yourself. Well, my clock ticking. Well, I'm 40 years old. I ain't got no man. And then your friend telling you, girl, you 40 years old. You still ain't got no hub, girl. And all in here, girl, you need to go on over there, girl. And now, you, now, now you over to the man house. And you know you asking this. You know you're a queen. And you know what you believe. And you know what you stand for. You know you're not loose booty. But because of your friends. And you keep on entertaining these men. What, you, what majority of women do? They go right on to the man house. That's what happened to this girl, to this woman. Y'all too good for these men, queen. Beautiful, classy woman. Accident woman. Got morals, got boundaries, got standards. She got, she got her, her body taken. The most second part of her was taken, was violated. By a sorry, no good, stinking tail man. He's a punk. 
And I can't stand men who take advantage of women. I can't stand men who come in women's life and be nice to the women. Call every day. And text every day. Using gullible women. Using naive women. Using green women. Taking advantage of women. And then get them on their back. Then they leave them alone. Y'all got to start hanging around these women, queens. Y'all can't, you can't hang around women who don't have the same values and more that you have. You can't hang around these type of women, man. Hang around women that have the same morals and values that you. Hang around women that's on, a, on the same level or either, either better than you. Queens hang around queens. Queens hang around queens. Queens don't hang around loose booty. What the Bible say? Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good character. You a queen, but your friend is Pick Misha. You gotta get away from the Pick Misha's. Stop hanging around Pick Misha's. Stop hanging around Pick Misha's. What am I saying to y'all? Love them folk from a distance. The low value women. Love them from a distance, queens. Some of y'all friends, you got to separate yourself from them people. You got to. Because sometimes you outgrow people. Once you have developed self-love, once you have done the work on yourself, if that person have not done self-love, if that person have not done self development and you hanging around them, they're gonna give you a bad they're gonna give you bad advice. They're gonna be a negative influence. And that what happened to this um to this beautiful young woman. A man violated her and, 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 and took her and took the most sacred part of her. Broke her celibacy. Now she got to live with the guilt. Her friend got a husband. Oh, her friend's straight. She in the bed with her husband every night. She ain't getting raped. But guess who got to deal with the hurt and the shame? The woman who was raped. The guilt. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I did that. Oh, my God. And guess what? Ain't nothing she can do about it. She can go try to press charges on him, but guess what? What evidence do she have? All you got to do is say it was consensual. If she can't prove that it was rape, what, what, she, if she ain't got no evidence, he going to get away with it. Think about it here. You don't, she, you don't know how many women this, this man been with. How many women that he don't did that to. This, this, this right here let me know that this man come in women's life, be nice, and then invite them to their place, and then get them on their back, and then he disregard them. He do other women like this right here. She's not the only woman that was done like this. Now, guess what? Now, this woman got a soul tie. A soul tie. Because whenever a man get on top of you and penetrate you, you got a soul tie with the man. Now you got a soul tie. Now she got a soul tie. Listen to her stinking tail, booty, loose booty behind girlfriend. That's why I said it. Because I'm pissed off. I'm sick and tired of women telling other women, girl, you need to lower your standard, girl. You ain't going to get no man like that. I'm sick and tired of that mess, man. Stop hanging around those type of women. When you see a woman telling you stuff like that, move yourself from that woman. You need to hang around a woman going to hold you accountable. Hang around a woman going to tell you, girl, that's not right, girl. You a queen. Hang around good women, man. You, you see what I'm saying, queens? When you got a friend in your life, I don't care how long y'all been friends. And you trying to do the right thing. You trying to be assonance. And she keep telling you to do stupid stuff. Leave, the, leave her alone. Don't be her friend no more. Because she going to keep on influencing you. And then y'all don't understand. The influence is very strong. 
If somebody keep telling you to do something, keep do, you're going to end up doing it. You got this woman in your ear telling you what to do. And then you got a man, come on, let me get it. He begging. And then you're a woman. You're going to talk yourself into it. Well, you know, ain't nothing wrong with going over there. I mean, we ain't got to have sex. Yeah, my friend was right. Now you the one hurt. Queens, do not go against your boundaries. Do you understand me? When you go to the zoo, they got boundaries around them lions and the animals. You know why? To protect you. And what some of y'all doing, y'all, some of y'all is like at the zoo. You you climbing over the boundary, you jumping inside the lion thing where the lion's at, and then the lion, oh, the lion eating you all up. Now you all ate up by a lion, and you dead for, uh, for, for crossing the boundary. That's the same thing some of y'all doing in dating. You going against your boundaries, and now you on your back. Now you got a soul tie. Now you got rape. Now the lion on this took your body, and get what he do? He go by his business. He don't call you no more. He don't text you no more. He ain't studying you. He don't even want no relationship with you. Only thing that man want to do is get on top of her. And listen, I'm not trying to say all men bad, all men wrong. I'm not trying to be a negative person. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just trying to tell y'all what's going on out here. Men out here raping women. I'm coaching. I'm telling y'all this here. Women are getting raped. There's not a game out here, man. And this is why I tell my, my little nieces, my little young girls, y'all got to sit down somewhere because y'all not ready for this for this out here. You run here looking for love. Oh, I want a man to love me. Girl, it's, it's going to be hard to find that. It's, it's, it's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. But you cannot be hanging around a bunch of women if they're not on the same level as you. you got to have friends that's going to hold you accountable. That's going to tell you what's right. Real friends. Listen to me. A real true friend is not going to tell you to do nothing stupid like that. That is not your friend. You need some more friends, queens. Queens hang around queens. Queens hang with other queens. A real true friend is not going to tell you to do something dumb like that. Go to a man's house and you don't even know the man. Queens hang around queens. Find you a, a woman that's going to hold you accountable. If you're a girlfriend woman, hang around girlfriend or other girlfriend women. Don't hang around no woman who not girlfriend. Don't hang around a woman who, who ain't got morals. Don't get advice from the ungodly. The, the, the Bible says that. Do not get advice from the ungodly. Do not get advice from the ungodly. Y'all getting relationship advice from, from, from loose booty women. They gonna tell y'all they they gonna tell y'all the wrong stuff. Queens, I am so upset about this right here. A queen just got raped. Just got raped. But y'all gotta, y'all, I can get on here all every day and tell y'all what to do and what not to do. I can give y'all advice. I can tell y'all about these men, all this stuff. But y'all gotta make up in y'all mind that y'all gonna do it. Y'all gonna listen to your Uncle Rod, man, and your brother Rod. Y'all gotta make y'all mind up that, that y'all gonna do it. Because if you keep on hanging around these men, they keep on begging for it, begging for it, begging for it, begging for it, begging for it. Before you know it, you're going to be going to that man's house and he's going to take it. Some men, it's not going to be nice and stop. You need a queen in your life, a queen friend in your life that's going to hold you accountable. When you start dating a man, you need her to be telling you, okay, okay, girl, don't settle. 
And when you go on a date with a man, let, let, let when you find a real true friend, a queen, they got the same morals and value, values you have. When y'all go out on a date, you let her know, okay, we're going on a date Friday, we're going to be at the certain, certain restaurant. You need some accountability from another queen. You don't need these loose booted women in your life. Telling y'all to go over a man's house and you don't even know these men. And some and, and some of y'all be submit to a man, you don't even you just man a man and you submit to a man. Cause whenever a man tells you to come to his house and you know you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway, you just submitted to that man. You submit to that man. Stop submitting to men you don't even know. Stop submitting to strangers. Queens. Cora, I love y'all. But y'all gotta love y'all self. And some of y'all mama pick Misha. Telling you the Lord your standards. Ah, you need to love your standards, girl. I want me some grandkids. Mama, you want a grandkid? Go and adopt somebody else's children. I'm not finna lower my standards for you to have a grandkid. I want to be happy. Stop trying to live your life for other people. You got to get a strong mind. When you don't want to do nothing, don't let nobody convince you to do something you don't want to do. Nobody. Your friend, your mama, your daddy, your cousin, or your brother, don't do what you don't want to do. Don't let nobody talk you into doing something that you know you don't want to do. You are a grown woman. Make your own decisions. Queens, that's why I tell y'all, when the man keep asking you for coming to his place, or he keep asking to come to your place, hang up the phone. Tell him no one time. He asks you again. I'm not doing it. No. That third time, hang the phone up. Because if you keep on talking to the, he's not going to stop. Y'all got to realize, queen, men ain't going to stop till they get it. They're not going to stop till they get it. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep on nagging you, nagging and nagging, 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 nagging. And you're a woman, you're going to fall for it, and you're going to finally give in. And you're going to go to that man's house, and you're going to get violated. Just say just say you don't get raped. You go over there, and you just feel for him. You give, you give it up to him. Guess what he going to do? He going to disregard you. He ain't going to call you no more. And then you texting him, he, he, he don't respond to your text. You call him, he don't answer the phone. How you gonna feel? This man don't got your body. Now he gone down the road. He don't broke your celibacy and he gone. And now you got a soul tie. He don't got his thing until on top of you and release off in you. And he gone down the road doing something to somebody else. He probably had other women. You don't come on now. That's nasty. Queens, 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 y'all got to do better, queens. Y'all got to do better, man. You got to stop letting these women tell you uh, tell y'all what to do. You need a good woman, a good a circle of women who are queens like you. Queens don't hang around loose booty. Do you understand me? Queens hang with queens. And once you Become a, a conscious queen because your 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 low value friends they queens but they still sleep they unconscious but when you become a conscious queen you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta let them folks go because sometimes you outgrow people do you understand me everybody who you connected to in the past is not meant to be with you forever they're not meant to be with you forever. That what y'all got to realize. Every friend that was connected to you in the past, it does not mean that they're they, they supposed to go with you for the rest of your life. You outgrow people. When you have done the work on yourself and when you start doing the right thing and the other person want to follow you, guess what? You got to leave them people alone. Cut them people loose. Bad company corrupts good character. 
bad company corrupts good character. That's what the Bible says. Y'all need to start hanging around these women, man, and hang around queens who got the same values as you. A real true friend gonna hold you accountable. A real true friend gonna give you advice. Good advice. She gonna have your best interests at heart. Queens hang with other queens. Watch, watch your circle. You understand me? Every, every woman that you call your friend is not your friend. You got to watch your circle, queens. Watch your circle. Queens hang with queens. God bless y'all, man. God bless y'all, queens. God bless y'all.